So it's time for testing the torque of these little motors. Others have done this, but I see various results, so I thought I'd uh, add to the confusion with my own results, but hopefully with a clearer method to follow. Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Crazy Logic. So for my previous videos, you can see I've tried three different drive methods, wave drive, full stepping, and half stepping. In each test, I tried to achieve the maximum speed for each method, but no load was attached, and therefore the tests were rather academic. In these tests, I've 3D printed a pulley, which you can see me model in the card in the description, and I've attached a 300 gram bottle of water on some fishing line. 300 grams is a choice I've made as its nearest nice number that I can get the motor to hold without needing any current. A little force can start the bottle moving, but otherwise it holds from the friction in the gears. In my tests, I'm looking at what's referred to as the pull-out torque, which is the ability to move directly from stationary to a given speed. I'll use the same method for each of the drive methods and try to optimise the timing for the highest stable speed without any obvious missing steps. Stationary to 100mm lift, one revolution of the stepper, then a direct turn and descent at the same speed for the same distance, followed by a sudden stop and stationary for 5 seconds, with a single coil engage for holding. No acceleration curves in use, I'll also be using a 6.3 volt supply, which gives about 5 volts to the stepper motor coils after the losses in the ULN 2003 driver. I'll put the full 10 minute test videos in the description of each of the methods, but here are the results. Wave drive I managed a minimum timing of 3500 microseconds between steps. This works out to 285 steps per second, or 7 seconds per revolution, or 8.4 RPM. Full stepping I managed to get down to 2000 microseconds between steps. This works out to 500 steps per second, or 4 seconds per revolution, or 15 RPM. Half stepping I managed to get down to 1000 microseconds between steps, which is the same speed as above, as there are double the amount of steps per revolution. So as you can see, under load they cannot move as quickly as when there is load, and that they can move a fair bit of mass, albeit slowly. So in terms of torque calculations, which is often stated around 300 to 350 gram centimetres for these little motors, I calculated it as follows. 300 grams at 15.91 millimetres, which is 300 by 1.59 centimetres, or 477 gram centimetres, which is also 0.046 blah 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 newtometers. In general, cheaper NEMA 17 motors are 0.4 to 0.5 newtometers, so this is an order of magnitude weaker than them. I hope these experiments have proved useful and clear up some of the details regarding these cheap and available motors. If this has been useful, then like the video and subscribe for similar content. Thanks for watching.